Today is a day for celebration. We are here today to participate and witness two people who found the love of their lives. And now, Anthony and Taylor are going to share their vows with each other. I, Anthony, stand here to take you, Taylor, to be my wife and lifelong par partner in marriage. Ever since you broke the ice and came up to me at that party in the summer of 2019, I knew that you were the woman I prayed for and wanted to spend the rest of my life with. Despite all of the ups and downs we've experienced in life, God brought us together. Since I have an infinite list of reasons as to why I love you, I thought it would be easier to tell you what I don't love about you, and that is absolutely nothing. <laughs> in all seriousness though, I love your faith and fear of the Lord. I love that we can be our true authentic selves around each other without any hesitation or embarrassment. I love that you accept me for who I am and never judge me for my flaws and failures. And I love that you inspire me to continually be better man each and every day. To me, you are the most beautiful woman that God has ever created inside and out, and nothing will ever change that. I promise to live by and stay committed to the vows I speak to you today. As commanded in Ephesians 5, 22 through 33, I promise to love you just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. And I promise to love you as I love myself. As Proverbs 31.30 says, Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised, and I promise to praise you all the days of my life. Throughout our marriage, we will encounter many challenges and difficulties, great and small, but I promise to love you more than anything that could ever try to tear us apart. We will stick together and overcome anything that is thrown our way, and we will achieve everything that we set out to do together. When we have children, I promise I will constantly strive to be the best and most loving father I can possi possibly be. I promise I will love you in sickness and in health and whether we are poor or rich. I now pledge to hold these promises dear to my heart for the rest of my life. I'm beyond excited to spend the rest of our lives together and I can't wait to experience everything God has in store for us. I love you always and forever, Taylor Alexis. Anthony. From the first time I ever talked to you, I knew you were different. Sure, you were weird, <laughs> goofy, and had your quirks, but that's not what I'm talking about. I noticed how you were always the first person to help someone in need, how you were patient with me when I'm having a bad day. I noticed the way you care so deeply about your family, the way you live your life through Christ. I noticed traits in you that I strive to replicate for myself. You are my role model, my best friend, and my partner all in one. You make me feel so loved and appreciated. I can never picture a life without you. I never thought I would find a person that I don't get annoyed with. And I'm sure my family can attest to that. You are the first person I want to see when I wake up. When we are apart, I truly do not feel complete. There is a part of me that is missing when we are not together and you are that missing piece. 1 Corinthians 13 explains the characteristics of love. It is patient, kind, it does not envy or boast, it is not proud, rude, or self-seeking, it's not easily angered. Love always protects, trusts, hopes, and preserves, and I promise to live out that definition of love throughout our lives. From this day forward, I promise to love you unconditionally, to stand by your side, support you through thick and thin and to be faithful in our relationship. I promise to make you laugh with only the jokes we find humor in. I promise to always make our love a top priority. Since the day we first met, you have never made me doubt the love that you have for me. Thank you for choosing me. Thank you for being patient with me. Thank you for loving me. I vow to love you like you love me forever. As said in the Song of Solomon, chapter three, verse four, I have found the one who my soul loves. I love you more than I could ever explain.
Anthony, do you take Taylor to be your wonderful wife? I do. Taylor, do you take Anthony to be your wonderful husband? I do. Anthony, Taylor, I now pronounce the two of you husband and wife. You may seal your marriage with a kiss. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great joy to present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Anthony and Taylor Torres. Woo!